Welcome to our Greece series. This is the first vlog of Three Islands and our first stop is Paros. We flew from Manchester Airport to Santorini and then took the ferry over. First of all, we stopped for a nice little coffee and then we took the bus to the town of Lefkes and here we met our Airbnb host at the bus stop and we arrived at our Airbnb. Our host here is absolutely incredible. Well, the whole family is. It's like a family run business. So we're situated in a tiny house upstairs. And then we've also got like a kitchen bathroom downstairs. And then opposite us is the most adorable restaurant. And they said to us um, yesterday, in the morning, come round, like just knock on the door, come round for a coffee. So I actually went round for a hairdryer. <laughs> and the woman was like, because I was like, how do we, how do you just knock and come round for a coffee? <laughs> the woman was like, come in, come in, come in. So we did, we went in and oh my God, like the place is one, again, the most adorable, picturesque thing you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And then we got frappes and peach tart yeah. and cream. So that mm. was our breakfast this morning. Nice. Mm. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> it was so nice. Yeah. Frappe was good. It was massive as well. Yeah. Nice food. And then now we're going to head to the bus and we're going to explore a new beach. I just asked for a bus ticket to Paprika instead of Parakia. And I feel a bit embarrassed now. I feel very embarrassed actually. We're at Marcello Beach and I like the background to be talking for itself. No. I'll take you into the water now because the water is so clear that no matter how deep you go, you can see your feet and you can also see fish. They have these fish about this big. I brought it in so we can find fish. Oh, there's one. Oh, look. I don't know if I'm getting it on camera. The deeper you go, the more fish there are, obviously. But before, I was on my own. Actually, I wasn't, Gus was nearby. But I felt like I was on my own. And I was surrounded by about six fish. Yeah, yeah big one. Go there, yeah. <laughs> oh, you can see it. Ah, no. Well, there's another one. I'm going to go dive in. OK, you do that. I'll, I'll watch you. <laughs> I think you're going to be beaten to it. <laughs> that was fun that you should do it. Okay. <laughs> Don't ask me twice. Here's Davis up to the five meter board. <laughs> the most ungraceful <laughs> jump I've ever done. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh, my nose is a How was that? It was alright. Alright. <laughs> so, after chilling at Marcelo Beach for a few hours, we decided to go over to Krios Beach and grab a coffee. Uh, and then after that, we went over to the town of Parakia, walked through the streets over the uh, paved stones, as you may have seen in like Santorini and Mykonos. Um, and then after that, we spotted a sunset down the street so we walked over up on this little hill here and found a nice spot to watch the sunset for a little bit. Found this completely last minute a sunset spot in the most adorable location. But unfortunately we've got, we've, ten yeah, we've got 10 minutes um, to get our bus back. But look at it, look at it, it's gone so big. <gasps> Then in the evening, we decided to get some food. We had a home-cooked meal from an Airbnb host at their little restaurant called Sweet Smelling Kitchen. Um, so as you can see here, we've got some uh, bread with dip, uh, Greek salad, I had a tagliatelle pie, and Keris had some cheese tortellini. Uh, this is their little cat. Uh, can't remember the name of the cat. Uh, but we finished our food, and we were very tired after that. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Should I clear the water? Oh. oh. It's cold and you go in slow. <laughs> Our second day was spent at a beach called Piso Levade. This was just a short bus ride away from where we were staying. And as you can see, this is based on a marina with a little strip of white sand and restaurants along the front. If you want to relax in Paros, this is exactly where you need to go. And then for tea, we went back to Lefkes. This restaurant was called Lefkiano. And for a starter, we had some zucchini balls. These were really delicious. And then for main, I had a Greek codfish with garlic mash. What I didn't mention here was that the mash was actually freezing cold, like refrigerated cold. So is this normal in Greece or not? Could someone let me know? What do you think? Really, really nice. <laughs> really nice. Gaz went with the healthy option, got some chicken and wild rice, and then we got this complimentary dessert. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> They're perfumey. <laughs> it's like Turkish delight with. What's it called? What's that? With decorated sugar on top. What's it called? Decorated sugar. Icing sugar. Icing sugar. Can you see this? Behind us, we've rented a car. This is our first time ever renting a car. Um, because we were just going to like one beach a day, which is great. It's so nice to explore a new place every day. But where we were, our bus schedule was uh, every two hours. So, and this morning we actually went to go pick up the car, forgot Gaz's driving license, and then we missed the two hour bus, which we woke up early to get. So, we're here now, it's about midday. And yeah, look, we picked her up. We picked her up, she's great. She was only, what, 80 euro for two day. Um, so yeah, we've taken her to the first beach. This beach got recommended to us by our Airbnb host. And they're supposed to be, um, you're supposed to be able to dig up the sand and it's like a natural oh my, spa. Oh my god, look at that car. Oh my god, it's like shitty, shitty bang bang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It looks like a lawnmower. Hello. I feel like that's a DIY you car. You should have got that. <laughs> Is that a DIY car? I don't know. It literally looks like... <laughs> Yeah, just thought I'd show you the car because we're excited and I wanted to record whilst driving mm -hmm. um, but I'm not great at directions and Gaz is driving on the new side of the road so we didn't record the first drive mm. but we'll record the next one. As you can see, we've managed to give ourselves um, a mud, full mud experience. And then here's what Gaz looks like. Gaz is actually just going to provide us a tutorial. So what you do, you get some water from the sea, you find a little hole in the rock, and you just grind it down with a, with a sharp piece of the rock, and it bring it out. <laughs> your own face mask, what do you call it? Yeah, your own bit of clay, so you can do a little demonstration. Spread it. As you can see, this is the green one, but if you go over here, this is the brown one. <laughs> that one is a bit... Okay, can we... Oh, still mixed in the other one, but you see it's darker. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> Couldn't quite tell you the health benefits. <laughs> Not we'll yet. See. We'll see. We'll see, It yeah. feels like a face mask though, because it's like starting to get crumbly, like, like one from left. Like yeah. That. We didn't quite come up with that ourselves. We got some help from some other people who were just smothered in mud. Otherwise, we would have had to revert to Google. But look at this whole portion of the beach. There's just caves and rocks everywhere. And it's so cool that this came from a rock. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know, I get it. I get the science. <laughs> but like when you do it manually, it's just really cool. <laughs> Rewarded. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh my God. We have 
have arrived in Nausa. We think that's how you pronounce it. The Nausa. 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 It looks like Nusa, but I think it's Nausa. <laughs> Nausa. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're Greek. <laughs> So Nausa is a small fishing village and it's perfect if you want to go for food or if you want to go shopping. It has so many shops, so many little small streets where you can find little gems, but it is a very expensive place to be. You'll be paying about £300 for a dress here, so if you want to treat yourself to something luxury, this is definitely the place to be, but if you're looking for more of a local experience, you might want to try somewhere else. No. Ah. Oh, he's not a friendly one. <laughs> oh. So we've just left now. I'd say we were there for about 45 minutes. Absolutely beautiful place. Love the harbour. It is a lot smaller than what it looks like on the photos. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, absolutely beautiful. The shops. Oh my god, it was what I expect Mykonos to look like, to be honest. The restaurants there do look insane, but the whole place was just very crowded. So we thought we'd rather go and watch the sunset at one of our favourite places, Piso Lavadi. We've been to the beach there twice in the daytime, and every time we've looked at the restaurants and we've just they laughed. We would love to go there, and our Airbnb host actually recommended it to us as well. So we're going to take you to sunset at another kind of dock. So our Google Maps has taken us to the wrong side of the beach, but we've discovered this whole other area where there's literally tables on the beach and it's so beautiful. Just throwing that out there in case anyone wants an off-the-cuff recommendation. I just want to I just want to stop. So I thought we'd give you a little room tour or flat tour of where we stayed in Lefkes in Paris. So as you walk up the paved stones, you can see our veranda. <laughs> Uh, and as you walk onto the veranda, you see it's very nice if you want to have a little drink of wine and just have a chill at night. Um, and also you get this lovely view of Lefkes in the background as well. Uh, I thought it was beautiful. And then as you walk through the blue doors, you see the first half of the Airbnb. This is the part that we slept in. And as you can see, it is just full of Greek decor. This host was absolutely the host with the most. And through the window, you could actually see the little cafe. And then just in here, we had a little ensuite. We showered and everything in the bottom room, um, but this was just obviously very convenient in the middle of the night and whilst getting ready in the morning. Like I said, there was decor everywhere. Look at these little teddies on the, uh, the door. It was amazing. We loved staying here. There was just so much to look at. And the sofa was a pull-out bed, so it was very practical. And then as you come out of here, you are presented with the cafe on your right and our second half of the Airbnb to the left. And then here's part two of the tour. Um, again, everywhere you look. It was just so interesting because, you know, this isn't the stuff that we typically see where we live. You had your little kitchen in here, also set up with a dining table. To be honest, we didn't really spend much time in here because we didn't eat an awful lot. Just gotta, gotta, gotta move that. <laughs> and then just at the end of this, we had a little bathroom with a shower and a toilet. So this was our last day in Paros and we had a very early morning. We woke up about half five to make the sunrise for 10 to 7 and we just went to the north of Paros for this. That's why we look so tired. And then we went and found some cute little spots around Lafkes, took some nice little photos, including this lovely little corner right here. Look at this. And then we grabbed some breakfast. Breakfast? <laughs> no, it was. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Chocolate pie. Frapping. With the frappe for breakfast. Living the life. In this beautiful 
beautiful scene. We're about to board a ferry in the car to Antiparos and watch this now. All the cars have to do a little on mini video. reverse on. <laughs> on video as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh god, you didn't even wait your turn there, you're straight in on it. Gaz usually um, has a little uh, ah, screen, don't, don't you? I don't need it. Who fucking needs a screen? Antiparos Cave. We're going to go inside there in a minute. But we just thought we'd quickly record because look at this view. Oh, so we're in the cave and it seems to have steps forever. It's really cool though, isn't it? Strangely, it's not the same amount of steps as when we went to um, in Prague. <laughs> Oh Maybe yeah, yeah, something like that, wasn't it? Wow. Nothing ever lacks me now. So we have just been somewhere that I couldn't quite record because it was a nudist beach. <laughs> We've never done anything like that in our lives, but it was definitely something that was on my bucket list that I wanted to do. Didn't quite imagine we'd be doing it today. But you know what? It was so liberating just being able to just, to just wear no clothes, yeah. wasn't it? It was fun. It was so, it was fun. We did have to go to like the end of the beach because at the beginning there was like a mix of people in clothes and not in clothes. And we thought, you know, we, we we want to be with the naked people. That sounds so weird saying that out loud. <laughs> but no, it was great. Like the water was crystal clear. Um, sometimes that works in your favour, sometimes it doesn't because, you know, everyone can just see everything. I think we're both just feeling really nice and relaxed now. Mm. Um, kind of air dried in the sun. <laughs> we're off to the town to get some food. Oh, no, no. Yum, yum, yum as well. Do I show our new purchase? Peacock. <laughs> 350. We had to get the ugly print or we had to pay four more euro for a nice one. Yeah. So well, to we be went... fair, the other one that was 350 just said like grease on it. it oh no, it was awful. It was like a yeah. blurred photograph. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was <laughs> no. so I, we... I, I actually said the peacock one looks sparkly quite... peacock. I actually thought I actually said the peacock one looks quite cool to Yeah. It's better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> And that is a wrap for our Paros adventure. Uh, in the next vlog, we will be going to the island of Milos. Um, we'll be showing you around our adventures there too. So see you then. See you there.